In 1882, the American Wild West is dangerous to live in. Food is scarce, disease spreads rapidly, and only the toughest people get to survive. In a small town in Arizona, sheep farmer Albert goes to the town square to meet with a cowboy who has threatened to kill. Albert's family if he doesn't get the money he lost because of Albert's sheep. He's now ready for a gunfight but Albert is a coward who begins making up arguments to avoid the fight and even makes naughty shadows with his hands. The cowboy snaps and shoots Albert in the leg while Albert's girlfriend Louise looks disappointed. Afterward Albert and Louise have a picnic near a river and Louise says Albert should have been braver. She suddenly breaks up with him, claiming she's been thinking about it for some time. Albert says he loves her but Louise leaves anyway. Meanwhile at the saloon, Edward is waiting for his girlfriend to finish working. The manager makes fun of him for dating a woman who satisfies other men for work, but he doesn't care. Ruth soon comes out of the room and goes on a date with Edward after promising the manager to come back in time for another client. In the evening, Edward and Ruth visit Albert to offer their support since he can't stop thinking about Louise and looking at their pictures together. They end up going to the saloon to get drunk and Albert goes on a rant about how living in the Wild West is the worst because everything can kill you. He mentions things like hungry animals but also drunk people, going to the bathroom, and miners dying from their farts after eating spicy wings, which happens behind him. Then he brings his friends outside to point out that the mayor has been lying dead outside for three days and nobody has noticed. At that moment two wolves come out and take the mayor's body away to eat it. A guy in the saloon gets tired of Albert's rambling and throws him out through the window. After drinking a lot, Albert clumsily rides his horse and even falls, but he still makes it to Louise's house. He tries to win her back to no avail. The next day, an old man is riding in his carriage with his dog plugger outside town. He's happy to have found a piece of gold, which he quickly hides when he sees a group of suspicious riders coming. The famous criminal clinch asks the man for gold and even tells him to pull out his gun so that he can take it from him fairly without robbing him. The old man does so and clinch says they'll shoot on three, however clinch shoots on two and kills the old man. Clinch's wife Anna protests against unnecessary killing, and clinch grabs her by the neck to threaten her into silence. Then he takes the man's map and splits the gang to search the area, sending Lewis with Anna to town. On their way out, Anna decides to keep Plugger. Meanwhile Edward goes to check on Albert. While they talk about relationships and women, Albert is shocked to hear Edward and Ruth haven't done the dirty yet because they're Christians that are waiting to get married. The guys go to town to watch the ice being delivered from Boston, which falls and kills a guy. They're shocked to find Louise with a new boyfriend called Foy, whose mustache is the envy of every man. Later at church, Albert keeps exchanging menacing looks with Foy. The pastor introduces Anna and Louis, who are pretending to be siblings that just moved into town. After mass is over, Albert goes to Foy's mustachery and asks about products that can help him grow facial hair. However Foy mocks him, saying his farm salary can't afford such luxurious products. That night at the saloon, Edward asks Ruth to finally get intimate, but she's hesitant. He notices that she has some man's seed on her face and cleans it with his handkerchief. Then Albert announces he wants to leave town and gives Edward his favorite socks, so in return Edward gives him his handkerchief, which gets stuck on Albert's hand. Meanwhile a cowboy accidentally bumps into Lewis, spilling his drink. Lewis demands to get a new one, so the cowboy pours Lewis a shot only to put his cigar inside. Lewis responds by shooting the guy, which immediately triggers a bar brawl. As men brutally attack each other, start fires, break the furniture, and even kill a few people, Albert and Edward pretend to fight so they'll be left alone. Bottles are broken and used to stab fighters while Anna just dodges it all and drinks in a corner. At that moment Albert notices two men are about to fall on top of Anna, so he quickly jumps in to save her by pushing her outside. There are more men joining the fight with weapons so the duo runs to town square to take a walk and chat while playing with Plugger. After a few throws, Plugger comes back with the mayor's leg instead of the stick, so the duo decides to go to the cliff to relax. While sharing a cigarette, Albert tells Anna everything about his situation with Louise and Anna concludes that Louise is missing out on a nice guy. Suddenly a snake slithers past them so they keep still to avoid getting bitten. Then Anna convinces Albert to take her to the fair to make Louise jealous. The next day Anna visits Louis in jail, calling him stupid for shooting the pastor's son. She admits she'll be happy the day that Clinch dies and leave without bailing Louis out. Afterward she joins Albert at the fair, where a guy is taking pictures. However his camera explodes, setting the photographer and his clients on fire. Two men quickly shoot the clients to save them from the pain. At that moment Louise and Foy show up, so Anna pretends to be Albert's girlfriend as they exchange some banter. Anna mentions there's a shooting range and Foy tricks Albert into accepting a bet. The game consists of shooting pictures of running slaves and Foy manages to land all six bullets. When it's Albert's turn, he misses every shot. Before he can pay, Anna steps in and convinces Foy to make the bet harder. She asks the game operator to make it go as fast as possible and uses two guns to hit every single target in seconds. Now Foy has to pay Albert a dollar, which leaves everyone in shock because they've never seen any currency higher than coins. Refusing to be seen as a loser, Foy keeps on mocking Albert, who snaps and challenges Foy to a duel the next day. Foy accepts and after he leaves, Albert freaks out, regretting the decision. Anna decides she'll teach Albert how to shoot and on. Their way out, they see a bull running into and killing a stand owner. 
The duo goes out of town to practice and Albert proves he's a horrible shooter over and over again even at close range. Luckily Anna is very patient and never gives up, trying out different tricks for Albert to progressively get better little by little. After he finally shoots cans and bottles, they draw a person on a door and Albert lands his shot, almost killing his own dad in the process. Once training is over, Anna rewards him with a pot cookie. They watch the sunset together and the cookies cause them to get startled even by small animals. In town, the sheriff opens the cell to bring Lewis some food. By pretending to be asleep, Lewis surprise attacks the sheriff, killing him by pounding his head on the bars. Later that night, Albert goes to the barn dance with Anna, who is wearing an extra fancy dress for the occasion. Foy and Louise are also there and once again Foy wants to compete. He tells the band to play a song that celebrates the joys of having a mustache, humiliating Albert for not having one and causing him to get kicked out of the dance floor. Anna isn't happy about this and makes a plan. She steals a bottle of whiskey from the bartender and puts a laxative in a glass. Then she challenges Foy to a drinking contest and loses on purpose to trick Foy into drinking her little trap. Afterward Albert and Anna leave the party and decide to drink at the farm. They talk a lot and bond over their hate for the Wild West. Albert gets one of the sheep to bring Anna a photograph of a man smiling, which is considered impossible. Anna thanks him with a kiss on the cheek and it quickly grows into actual kissing. Feeling awkward, Albert takes Anna back to her hotel only to end up kissing again, which is seen by Louis. On his way home, Albert notices a glowing light coming from a barn. He opens the door and finds Doc Brown from, Back to the Future, working on the DeLorean. The doctor says it's just a weather experiment and Albert believes him. Meanwhile at Foy's home, Louise asks him not to kill Albert, but he refuses. Then they start doing the naughty again with Louise sucking on the mustache, however Foy suddenly feels sick and has to run to the bathroom. The next morning, Anna gets a knock on her door and opens it, only to discover it's clinch. Moments later at Town Square, Albert is worried because Anna hasn't showed up. Foy arrives but he can barely walk and he starts feeling sick again. So he has to steal some hats to relieve himself in them. When Foy is finally ready to fight, Albert drops his belt and gun, saying Foy can keep Louise because he's moved on. After wishing Louise good luck in her new life, Albert goes looking for Anna and finds her room empty. Confused, Albert goes to the saloon to rant to his friends. At that moment, Clinch shows up with his gang and announces that somebody was seen kissing his wife Anna, who he drags in as well. As Albert's heart breaks over hearing Anna is married, Clinch asks who kissed his wife and shoots a random cowboy with a famous face to prove how dangerous he is. Before leaving, Clinch tells the crowd he'll kill more people if the guy that kissed Anna doesn't meet him tomorrow at noon. Then Clinch takes Anna out of town to hit her for kissing another man. He also threatens to kill Plugger, forcing Anna to confess Albert's name. Next Clinch forcefully kisses Anna and gets his pants down to do the dirty, so Anna uses the distraction to whack him on the head with a rock. Before leaving, she puts a flower in Clinch's rear. Using Clinch's horse, Anna arrives at the farm, where Albert is packing his things to leave before Clinch could find him. He's furious because Anna lied to him, admitting he loves her. Anna explains she married Clinch when she was nine and nowadays she stays with him by force, then she admits she loves Albert back. The moment is interrupted when they see Clinch's gang coming, so Anna leaves after telling Albert that Clinch always shoots. On two, soon Clinch and his men make it to the farm and start looking for Albert, who is hiding among his sheep and gets peed on his face. When the gang isn't looking, Albert sneaks around and reaches his horse to escape. A chase ensues as Clinch fails to shoot Albert because of how fast he's going. They make it to the tracks and Albert manages to ride through before the train passes. Jumping on it to get away. Eventually he gets off the train and stops to let his horse rest, only for someone to suddenly knock him out. In town, Edward and Ruth decide to consummate their relationship. Edward freaks out when he sees a woman's parts for the first time and when they finally get down to business, they're interrupted by Anna. It turns out Louis is looking for her, but by the time he bursts in, she's already escaped through the window. Unfortunately she's immediately blocked by Clinch. Meanwhile Albert wakes up to find himself tied to a pole surrounded by the Indian Apache tribe. They are about to burn him down but Albert surprises them when he speaks their language, admitting that he studied a lot in his spare time. The Indians take him down and sit him around a campfire, sharing a special drink with him. Albert drinks too much of it and starts hallucinating pretty hard. First he revisits old memories, like the time he was born and his father refused to hold him. When Albert lost his first tooth, he put it under his pillow but only found horse poop in the morning. During his graduation ceremony, a fake Abraham Lincoln made a horrible speech. When he got his first bike, he tried to show it off to Louise and crashed against a bunch of horses, making them fall. Then a bunch of dwarf cowboys chased him out of town. Suddenly the hallucination takes Albert to a strange field where Anna is telling Louise she has big eyes, and Albert screams when he sees Louise's changed face. Then a group of sheep that sound like Foy gather to sing the mustache song while dancing and peeing. A door appears and long-legged sheep tell Albert to open it when he's ready. The handle is a snake that snaps at Albert, but he doesn't give up and tries again. The door opens and Albert sees Anna in a wedding dress waiting for him. When he walks through the door, a condor appears in the sky with Clinch's face in its mouth. Albert fails to shoot it down so instead he kicks it in the naughty area to defeat it. 
At that moment Albert snaps out of the hallucination and realizes he's found the courage he needed, so Albert thanks the Indians for their wisdom and leaves. Six minutes before noon, Albert shows up at Town Square, where Clinch is holding Anna hostage. He sends her to his men so he can fight in the countdown. Begins, however Albert remembers Anna's advice and shoots at one. Clinch gets hit on the arm but he manages to shoot anyway, disarming Albert. To buy some time, Albert starts singing a death chant, claiming it's a family tradition before death. Suddenly Clinch starts feeling terribly ill and collapses as Albert reveals that the Indians taught him to extract venom from a snake and lace the bullet with it. He feels very proud of himself, but Clinch didn't hear a word of it because he's already dead. Anna kicks the outlaws holding her hostage to free herself and runs to Albert's arms, celebrating his victory with a kiss. Louise comes over and tries to get Albert back, but he turns her down because he's with Anna now. As the new couple walks away, Anna reminds Albert that there's a reward for Clinch's head. Soon Albert gets the money and buys tons of sheep for his farm so he can start a new life with Anna. Meanwhile a famous cowboy from another movie shows up at the fair and kills the operator for his racist shooting game. 